Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys a video of how I transformed this regular old dresser that I got from my local thrift store into this beautiful mirrored mosaic masterpiece. It was a lot of steps involved, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what I did to get this finished product. I hope you guys like, comment, let me know, and let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is remove the knobs from the dresser. I actually picked this dresser up because the knobs were almost falling off and I was like, perfect, just what I need. So some things you're going to need is sandpaper, wood glue is optional, you're going to need a little spatula, I got a little plastic one, primer, and measuring tape. So this is how the dressers look right before we are going to move to our next step, which is sand, 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 sand. Obviously this needs, it is in desperate need of that. <laughs> So next I've got my electric sander and I'm just starting to sand down all the drawers and the dresser. Um, now with this I had to use two different types of grit sandpapers. I got one that was extremely gritty and the other was a fine, um, fine finish. So I sanded the dresser twice because it needed it. <laughs> We had to do a lot of sanding. As you can see, my stepdad stepped in to help me out. Um, but this is kind of the finished product. We kind of sanded it down to the wood um, because dealing with a thrift store dresser, you're probably going to need to do that. So after everything is all sanded down and all nice, we are ready to prime. So we're going to prime our dresser, focusing on the edges because the mirror is going to go in the middle. Here I'm just priming the front. Basically you want to prime and paint anything that's going to be showing and you don't have to worry about anything that won't be showing. And when it's hot man and you're just out painting dressers, don't forget to have a dance off. <laughs> but back to business. It's time to start priming those drawers. Like I said, focus on the edges because mirror will be put in the middle so you don't really have to fully prime that. So next, I use this metallic silver spray paint, really beautiful color. Now keep in mind, we were outside, so the primer dried really quick. I let that cure for about an hour, and then I went in with my spray paint. So this is the finished product. This is how the dressers came out with the primer and the metallic silver paint. Really, really pretty color. Okay, on to the fun part. For our next phase, we will need a cock gun, marble, mirror, and granite glue, clamps, E6000 glue, really, really strong, and knobs. And these are some cute knobs I got from Marshalls. So Lowe's is the place to go guys, if you buy mirror from them, they will cut it for you in the store. This man helped me out, he's a really cool guy, he cut my mirrors for me, super awesome and they're about $17 for a 30 to 36 inch block of mirror. So here I am just unwrapping my mirrors with beautiful presents. <laughs> So with my cock gun, I decided to go straight on the wood because these were two of my biggest pieces that were going to go on the side of my dresser. Here you can see I'm picking up my mirror and I am installing it. Perfect fit for my dimensions. 
and don't forget to clamp it at the bottom. So next I'm just doing the same thing on the smaller pieces of mirror I got cut from my drawers. Now keep in mind I knew going into this project that I wanted to do some type of mosaic, uh, broken glass. So I decided to do three slabs of mirror and two broken mosaic mirrors. But I did get all mirrors cut as though I was going to put them all on the drawer. So we'll see why I did that later. I'm just installing the mirror and they are perfect, perfect fit. So next I went ahead and put the glue right on my dresser to install the top piece which is one of the biggest pieces. I found just gluing the dresser down when you have a big piece of glass mirror is a little easier and less messy. This is how the top piece came out, super stylish and super nice. Um, now one thing I didn't mention is sanding the edges of the mirror. I didn't find it necessary on my dresser because a lot of the edges were rounded and nothing was really touching. So next, because I knew I was doing the mosaic, it was super easy for me to kind of measure out where I wanted my knobs because I went for where the holes were for the original knobs because with my Marshalls knobs, they had nails already attached to them. So I knew I was gonna use those throughout the broken mirror. So what I did is I just measured where my hole was on my mosaic mirror before I broke up the glass and did the mosaic mirror and matched it to my glass mirrors. Next, I just have my E6000 glue. This glue is great for mirror projects because it has a clear adhesive and we need that for mirrors, okay? Everything reflects everything, so clear is much needed. So next, we're finally here, guys. We are finally here. Let's get to cracking. Literally, let's get to cracking that mirror. Um, so the way I made the mosaic is I took the mirror, I pounded it, I covered it in sheets to make sure any mirror didn't, uh, you know, go flying. <laughs> And I went to town. And by the way, I didn't have a hammer on hand, but I needed to get it done. So don't judge. I mean, here is the finished product, guys. Now you can kind of see why I got it cut in the same shape. I was trying to go for a puzzle piece type of so next I placed my knobs in my drawers and started to place the mirrors around kind of lay them out before I actually glued them down to get a base of where I wanted to put them so next it's time to start gluing guys um this is a really tedious product process <laughs> this took me about two hours to do literally like gluing down a jigsaw puzzle is how I could describe it um, but it just it looks so dope when it's all said and done so do not stray from really sitting down but you really got to have the time to sit down and do it because it is a bit tedious but so well worth it I glued piece by piece honey Okay guys, so for our third and final phase of this project, what you would need is some type of sponge, grout, window cleaner, and our handy dandy spatula. Also, I let the knobs dry on the mirrors overnight as well. I removed the clamps and this is the finished product of my drawers. So far, no mosaic, all glass.
Next, we are mixing the grout. You want to mix this until it's a pudding-like consistency. Uh, we had to learn the hard way. It was pretty watery at first, um, so we just kept adding more grout to the mixture to make sure it's really thick, almost clay-like. And here, guys, is our finished product of the mosaic mirrors. I told you I glued it piece by piece. Um, and this is how it looks like right before we are about to grout it down. I had to let the glue dry so it dried overnight before we started the grout process. So this is how everything looks grouted. Um, you are supposed to let it dry for about, I think 30 to 60 minutes, but we let it dry overnight. Um, the only thing with letting the grout dry too long is that you have to work a little harder to chisel everything off. It will come off, but keep that in mind. Um, but no, nonetheless, we left it on overnight. Okay, so this is how it looks dried overnight. We are just going to start chiseling it. So with our little paper scraper plastic spatula thing, um, you got to chisel it. This process probably takes about 30 minutes. Um, it's just something that has to happen. It's kind of part of grouting. Next, you want to kind of wet it with the sponge, and you're still going to have to go back in and chisel a little bit more. Okay, so our final process, guys, obviously is Windex, 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 Windex. This is a mirrored dresser. You now have a mirrored piece of furniture in your room, girl. So you need to go ahead and wipe that mirror down, keep some Windex handy, because you're going to keep it looking just classy and chic and bam thanks for watching guys this is our finished freaking mirror how do you like how did it come out let me know let me know a lot of work getting put into this thing it was a lot of hard work but totally 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 100% worth it um, I just love it I think it's a really cool project to take on it is time consuming, but you could do it and it could come out awesome. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I hope you guys just enjoyed the DIY that I just did for you guys. Um, it was a lot. The whole project took me probably about two weeks. So yeah, um, just a couple tips and tricks um, as far as a DIY mirror goes. Um, it takes a village. You will probably need somebody to help you out with this project because it's a big project. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of steps, as you guys could see. I tried to condense it as much as I can, but I want to kind of like give you all the real on doing this project, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it takes a village. Uh, if you don't have anybody to film, you're at least going to need some like firepower. It was a time where my uncles, my cousins, my stepdads, we was all in the front sanding down this dresser. Okay, so uh, you know, sometimes you just need a little help, girl, because it is a lot. Um, but it's just, it's really rewarding, as you can see. I'm just looking at it like, oh my god, like I made that? So nice! So pretty. Um, so I hope you guys liked it. Also, I wanted to like do a different spin on a DIY mirror dresser because I've seen the dressers where it's just mirror and then I've seen the dressers where it's all mosaic which are the two broken drawers that I did. So I wanted to just give a different spin 
and see how it would look with like mirror and mosaic you know um so i just wanted to just bring something new to um you know youtube with that and see what you guys think and just kind of get more creative and think outside the box with it and i hope you guys like it and appreciate it and i hope you guys try it and you better tag me in any picture that you post and send it to me because i would love to see how it came out with you guys doing it please show, show it to me please show it um and yeah guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video i tried really hard on it this is my first time doing a mirror this big and completely bringing it from negative zero to 100 girl i don't think it's a negative zero but you know what i'm saying girl it was in the dumps when i got it and that's why i, I thought like it would be really interesting to do like a thrift store video because to me a dresser can look any type of way you know what i'm saying so doing a thrift store video was like really cool because it gives you kind of like think on your feet type of thing like um all the other uh, diys that i've seen from their dressers are all things that you can purchase and very standard and that's cool that's nice but i wanted to kind of give a feel like what if you have something in a, in a garage and you want to revamp that you know what I'm saying but it's cut certain ways it's cut different and um, you know the knobs are different and stuff like that so I wanted to just kind of bring like a complete like um, you know kind of not standard dresser to do this project on and you might can compare it to like an old dresser that you have or a super dresser that's falling apart and you can pick bits and pieces and work it in with that so that was like my goal for the whole project. I hope you guys liked it. Please comment down below what you think. Comment down below if you're going to try it. Um, let me know if you're new to my channel, which you probably are, because this is a new channel. Welcome to my channel. And here are my channel, guys. Okay? We don't judge. Eh -eh. We just love. Okay. Bye guys! <laughs>